This video is about light, its properties and how shadows are formed. Light isn't made from anything. It's just a form of energy. It travels at very high speeds. And so when you're looking at the moon, you're looking at it as it was 1.3 seconds ago. The light from the sun has taken eight and a half minutes to get to us. And if you were trying to have a conversation on Saturn with somebody on Earth, it would be one and a half hours in between information bursts. The nearest star, the light, left four years ago. So it travels very fast, 300 million metres per second. And it also travels in straight lines. At least it does, as long as it stays in the same material and it doesn't change. So, for example, when it's travelling through air, it does so at constant speed in a straight line. We call the substance that light travels through a medium. When the light goes from one medium to another medium, then there are three possible things that can happen. One possible thing is that it could be absorbed. If the energy from the light is absorbed, it's converted into heat and the object may heat up slightly. Some of the light may be scattered or reflected, and some of the light may be transmitted through the material. There are a number of types of luminous sources, such as candles, electric torches and the sun. All of these convert energy from one form into light. Non-luminous sources that are often confused are such as the moon, day glow and high visibility jackets. Shadows, as you can see from that last slide, are formed when something gets in the way between a light source and a screen. This next part of the video is going to show you how to draw a ray diagram successfully. So when you're drawing a diagram such as this, you will need a sharp pencil and a ruler. This is something lots of people lose marks from in tests and exams. For us to be able to see anything, we need some sort of source of light. In this case, I'm drawing a sun. That light will hit objects and will be scattered from those objects into our eye. Light has to enter our eye if we're going to see anything. So there's the cat sat in the sun. Now when we draw an eye, we represent an eye with two curved lines and another curved line that joins the two and then a dot to represent the pupil. So imagine you're looking at an eye from the side. We then draw a straight line from the luminous source to the object with a ruler because light travels in straight lines. We also indicate the direction the light's travelling with an arrow. The light then scatters from the object. Some goes in some directions, and some in another, and one particular direction will go into the eye. So that's the key one that we must draw on, again with a straight ruler, and again drawing arrows to indicate the direction of the light. So to see something, light goes from a luminous source to an object, scatters from the object, and then into an eye.